President-elect Donald Trump addressed the media moments ago after a series of meetings today. More on that in just a moment. But first, from bitter political enemies to colleagues in the White House, maybe Donald Trump may have just buried the hatchet with Mitt Romney. Romney and Trump met today to discuss what the transition team describes as governing going forward. The meeting may have included talk about a Secretary of State position, a position that Romney is rumored to be interested in. Our Phil Mattingly is live there in Bedminster, New Jersey tonight. And I know, Phil, that Donald Trump did come out uh, just moments ago and, and speak to the media. What did he say? Yeah, that's exactly right, Poppy. Look, these are extraordinarily important meetings. There's no question about it. Potential cabinet picks cycling through the clubhouse behind me throughout the day. Donald Trump emerging for a brief break before his final meeting of the day. This is what he had to say. Really efficiently, very good, tremendous talent. We're seeing tremendous talent. Uh, people that, as I say, we will make America great again. These are really great people. These are really, really talented people. Yes, partially. We're doing this again tomorrow. Well, we think he's a great guy. I mean, he is some, he is some great man. We'll hear some things tomorrow, I think. And Poppy, that will hear some things tomorrow. The thing everybody clued in on. We're waiting to see if there's going to be any announcement. Doesn't appear that there's going to be any tonight. But the big question is what could be coming. We saw those big three announcements yesterday on the national security side of things. We know economic and domestic policy is going to be a focus on the transition team side on Monday and mm -hmm. Tuesday. A number of the meetings today, definitely potential cabinet picks. So we'll have to see if those might be announced tomorrow. Pop. Yeah, and that last you know big announcement, chief of staff and chief strategist came on a Sunday night as well, one week ago. So we'll see what we get right. tomorrow. I do understand that the president-elect met with someone today he is strongly considering as, as defense secretary, right? Yeah, that's exactly right. Look, we've all been focused on the, the Romney-Trump meeting, the yeah. burying of the hatchet, heck, going back through the last 15 months and seeing their jabs at one another. Mm -hmm. But there was another very important meeting. Look, there were a series of meetings, most lasted between 15 to 30 minutes. Mitt Romney's lasted an hour, minute, an hour and 20 minutes. James Mattis, the retired Marine Corps general, his lasted over an hour as well, and I'm told that was intentional. James Mattis is somebody whose career and resume are very intriguing to Donald Trump, according to a transition official, and is absolutely somebody that would be considered at or near the top of his list as the next defense secretary. Now, you can go through the resume and look back. A number of combatant commands, uh, his final position before he retired in 2013 was running U.S. Central Command. That's the command that oversees all U.S. troops in the Middle East. Mm -hmm. So a lot of experience, a lot of expertise on the very areas that Donald Trump campaigned on. I'm told, take that meeting, take General James Mattis very serious as a potential mm -hmm. cabinet secretary in the but, incoming Trump administration, Poppy. But if that is the man that he taps, he would need... Uh, a, a waiver from Congress to be able to serve, right? Yeah, that's a, that's an important point. The way things are written right now to run the Pentagon as a former military officer, you need to be out of uniform for seven years unless the U.S. Congress grants you a waiver. Now, Donald mm -hmm. Trump and if James Mattis is the pick has something working in his favor. Obviously, Republicans control Capitol Hill. The Republican president, if he would make a request for that waiver, likely would be granted that. Another important point here. James Mattis has a lot of goodwill on Capitol Hill. He's well regarded. He's testified a number of times in front of the relevant committees. So the expectation is that if that waiver were needed, he would be able to get that waiver. But it is a hurdle that would exist in front of his uh, potential nomination, Poppy. All right. Phil Mattingly live in, in uh, Bedminster. Phil, thank you very much. I guess we'll get more from there tomorrow. Coming up.